the swimwear competition with Bini Bini One. He suddenly won 19 from Barangay Sabani. Dindin identifies herself as fitness role model through self-acceptance with her flaws and insecurities that she also considers her strength. She keeps herself healthy by eating vegetables and doing exercise. Bini Bini One, Isa De Leon from Barangay Sabali. As a beauty queen, I will handle my fame by creating a positive and meaningful impact on my community. I will uphold, uphold authenticity as my public image and drawn from the stronghold of my values and from the support of my loved ones. Thank you. Thank you, Isa de Leon. Next. Next, we call on candidate number one, representing Zabali, Isa De Leon. Please choose your judge. Asking your question will be Miss Alexandra Faith Garcia. Good evening, candidate number one. Good evening, Paul. My question for you. Name one spot here in Balear that you would like to promote to the world and why? I will promote our hanging bridge because our hanging bridge symbolizes that we are connected. And as our munip municipality, I believe that we have unity in our town. Thank you. Our first slot goes to candidate number one, representing Barangay Zabali, Isa De Leon. Well, this competition is definitely intense. And thank you for ladies to proceed backstage. Who do you think will win? We got one. What is side. Who Sino, do you think? Sino. Ten pa rin. I think this is the whole ten talaga. Wow, good luck to all our ladies. I know, I'm very excited. This has been such a journey throughout the whole evening from swimsuit to evening gown, even considering they had closed door interview prior. And now the question and answer rounds. Truly the girls that come out on top are well-rounded ladies. I'm sure our judges have had a very, very hard time. Oh, definitely. May we kindly check if the other two ladies are in the isolated room? Okay, that is a All thumbs right. up. Candidate number one, are you ready for your final question? Yes. Okay, well, you have no choice. I'm so sorry. Here we go. And your question is, what do you think is the main obstacle that our country faces when it comes to tourism? And as the Tourism and Goodwill Ambassador of Balear, how do you think can you help solve the problem? I'll repeat. What do you think is the main obstacle that our country faces when it comes to tourism? And as a Tourism and Goodwill Ambassador of Balear, how do you think can you help solve the problem? Good evening, everyone. My advocacy is sustainable tourism and culture promotion. 
And I strongly believe that sustainable tourism and cultural promotion is a very crucial aspect of our responsibility towards to our municipality. And I believe that sustainable tourism and cultural promotion are indeed important advocacies to promote responsible travel and preserve our cultural heritage of different places such as our beautiful hometown Baler. Uh, by raising awareness and educating the local community, tourists, and stakeholders about the benefits of tourism, I think responsible planning, resource management, and promote eco-friendly practices is, <laughs> is the way that we can preserve our tourism. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lisa. Thank you, candidate number one. Wow, what an excellent answer. And we definitely need more sustainable tourism advocates. I am very proud of our candidates thus far, aren't you? Are you ready to find out the winner? Ladies, can we please ask you? Oh, they're already in center stage. They're ready. One of you is moments away from becoming the next Beanie Beating Balear 2023. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner up will take her place. So, ladies, good luck to both of you. Our new Beanie Beating Balear 2023 is Our winner is candidate the number Candidate number 1 yeah! representing the Bali Miss Isa you are our Filipino Baler 2023. <laughs> Kabutihan ang pusa, silangan kasaysayan at ikas na kayamanan. 